Hi, I'm Ming-Na, and uh, don't go anywhere. Profiles is coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Marley Hall. Today's guest is actress Ming-Na. She first received critical acclaim for her lead role in the hit movie The Joy Luck Club, and later for her starring role as Dr. Deb Chen on the NBC drama series ER. To children, though, she's the voice of Milan in two Disney films. After a short break, we'll join our host Mickey Burns as he welcomes the beautiful actress Ming-Na to Profiles. Profiles is also brought to you by the Iroquois Hotel, a boutique hotel located in the heart of Midtown within walking distance of Times Square, Broadway, and the Fifth Avenue Shopping District. Amenities include concierge services to assist with tickets and events. The hotel also hosts corporate meetings and conferences. Accommodations for celebrities appearing on Profiles are provided by the Iroquois Hotel on the web at IroquoisNY.com. Profiles is brought to you in part by the Diego Salazar Art Gallery, currently presenting the exhibit Diverse Visions of Reality, featuring several artists and is curated by artist and actor Federico Castelluccio. Diverse Visions of Reality will run from April 4th through May 4th. The Diego Salazar Art Gallery in Long Island City, on the web at diegosalazargallery.com. Profiles is brought to you in part by Staten Island University Hospital, a specialized teaching hospital located in New York City's fifth and fastest growing borough. Occupying two large campuses, the hospital provides quality care to the people of Staten Island, the New York metropolitan region, and to patients from around the world. For a complete list of medical services, on the web at siuh.edu. Welcome back to Profiles. Ming-Na's latest role is that of Camille Ray in the newest chapter of Sci-Fi's Stargate Universe, a role she considers a dream job having been a longtime fan of science fiction. With her work in film and on television, Ming-Na is considered one of the most influential Asian Americans in the past decade. So let's join our host Mickey Burns on location from Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in the heart of New York City as he welcomes actress Ming-Na to Profiles. Does Colonel Young know about this? He knows. Two weeks ago, you told me that this was the best experience of your life. Something must have happened. The scholarship came in. I guess I've just been too afraid to admit what I really want. Well, you didn't tell me you had even applied. There's nothing else going on. You know I'd tell you. Unless you were protecting someone else. I'm not. Like I said, I just hadn't made up my mind. Ming Na, welcome to our show profiles. Well, thank you very much, Mickey. It's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you too. For our viewers, I like your tie. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> green on green, right? Uh, many of our viewers will recognize you mm -hmm. for your starring role as Dr. Deb Chen, right, on the NBC drama ER. Others for your critically acclaimed performance in the hit film Joy Luck Club, and recently you were included in People Magazine's list of the fifty most beautiful people. That's so, right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of pressure. Just me and 49 other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that is pressure. <laughs> Did you spend four seasons on ER? Uh, I spent five seasons five on ER. Five seasons. Yes, plus the initial first year as and, a guest star. Sure, and you said, upon leaving, you said that I hope future roles would, evolve, would involve lighter material. I think um, after having a child, it became increasingly more difficult because there were so many episodes where a child was hurt, molested, yeah, yeah, or the, yeah. they lose their parents, and it was very emotional. Um, and I think I, I, I did, I mean, I loved my ER family, yeah. but I wanted, I wanted to do something. Something different. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember one episode, they even uh, included your pregnancy when you were pregnant with one of your That's children right. That's right. into the, uh, the script. Yeah, and I always joke because um, I was following this whole hypnobirthing of, you know, visualizing a beautiful, <laughs> easy birth where everything just opens yeah. and there's the baby. Doesn't work that way, does After it? After 36 hours of labor, um, <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. you know, Deb had a really difficult birth and she was uh, screaming and yeah. pushing. And uh, I called up my director and I told him, listen, we need to reshoot all those scenes. I was not dramatic <laughs> enough. I need to yeah. scream more. And now you know. Oh, <clears throat> yes. 
<laughs> well, you accomplished the lighter, uh, the lighter material because I recently caught you on episodes with George Lopez on his show, yes. and with Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men. And I know that, that, that I saw that great line. We said, "Oh, I didn't think you'd be so yummy <laughs> or so juicy." Moist. Moist. <laughs> Is comedy something that you, you really enjoy doing? I love comedy. I love the timing. I love uh, the interaction with the other actors and, you know, very quick uh, yeah. pace. And um, and I love to laugh. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm known for my laugh mm -hmm. or my cackle. Mm -hmm. And you're so good at it. So it's something you're probably doing a lot more comedy. I hope so. Sure, yeah, sure. I hope so. Uh, now, recently, uh, beside, you're on another list, and that is the popular Asian American magazine voted you as one of the 100 most influential Asian Americans. Americans of the past decade, mm. and that is an honor. It's yeah, that 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 I won't make light of. Yes, I I, I am very proud. And what were your thoughts when you arrived on that list? Um, I must be doing something right. <laughs> you got to be doing something right. You are you're a role model in the community right. for sure. And you know, I used to never want that because yep. I didn't want if I made a decision where I wanted to play some de decrepit character. Yes. I didn't want that to be a burden where where I feel like I can't play something like that because. You know, I'm a role model. Have you turned down roles because you felt it would not be that of a good role model? No, I've turned down roles where I felt the writing didn't justify hmm. the stereotype. Okay. Now, I once uh, read somewhere uh, that one of your motivations to succeed in the acting business uh, has been to change uh, people's narrow perception of what Asian Americans are. Is that yeah. true? Uh, I try, yes, yes, very much so. And I think it's opened a, a lot more doors for Asian American actors. Do you think so? Yes, and uh, writers and directors, um, not as not as frequently yeah. as I would yeah. like it to be, but at least certain doors have been opening. Yeah. Well, what are some of the misperceptions that one might have? Ooh, so many. Um, let's see: Dragon Lady, <laughs> Prostitute, uh, Geisha. Um, <laughs> Geek. Uh, where where else can I go? And the list goes on and uh, on. Delivery huh? boy, uh, gangster, um, kung fu master. <laughs> yeah, so just and a the, few. The list goes on. <laughs> okay, uh, and, and and you know much has been written uh, that roles for Asian Americans uh, remains extremely limited. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, how then you know do you account for your consistent work and success? Um, I think. I have a, a very strong work ethic, and uh, I have great people behind me, you mm -hmm. know, my agent, and, sure. uh, my family, and my friends who support me um, in my career, and um, that really helps. And I think I have a vision for mm -hmm. where I want to go, and, and so many things I want to do, I haven't really had a chance to do still to this day, and I hope to, to get that opportunity. Has there ever been a role that you wanted dearly and didn't get because of your ethnic background? Ooh. Well, they tell me it's either I was too short. <laughs> They're not telling they've you. Never, they've never, they never used that as an excuse. That would not per be a se. politically correct response, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you recently landed your dream job. And, and I'll tell you why I say dream job in a minute. <laughs> when you won the role as Camille Ray mm -hmm. in the latest chapter of sci fi series Stargate Universe. And I say dream job because I know you've been a longtime fan of science fiction. Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about that and also your role on Stargate Universe. Well, um, I mean, ever since I was little, I think I had a, a love for science fiction because it was just so out of the real world. Mm -hmm. um, and as a little girl growing up in a very white suburban neighborhood, you know, never feeling like I fit in, I think I was so attracted to this other place that you can go to where it's not you know, Earth. Es escapism. It's, a, it's absolute escapism, and yet it, it deals with so much about humanity and about, you know, the hardships of being um, either different or being uh, alien, you know. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that I think uh, that's felt, why I was very attracted. You felt you were part of that And great writing, you know, and of course yeah. the, the adventures are always fun. Yeah, and so. tell us about your, your character in Stargate Universe and yeah. in, in the new series. Um, I play Camille Ray, yes. and she's an IOA officer, which mm -hmm. is the uh, uh, International Oversight Authority on Icarus Space. Yes. And she works in the Human Resource Department. Okay. She's not the most uh, light-hearted, fun character I've ever done. Okay. She's very serious, very driven, and, uh, and yet there's a real vulnerable side to her 
Um, right. So I think she gets very misunderstood in the beginning. You think she's a hard ass. Can I say hard ass? You sure. Okay. And, you, can, <laughs> and, 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 and can, but, can I say lesbian? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. That's quite a challenge for me because I've never played a lesbian before. Yes, uh, but you are a lesbian in, in the new series. Yes, yes. Uh, How will that affect within uh, the series? Well, right now, I think um, my character, um, Camille, has a, a long time lover, partner, oh, okay. uh, um, Sharon, back on right. Earth. Oh. And you do get to meet her, and okay. she they do um, get to be in touch with each other through these ancient stones. And it's uh, it's really lovely. You know, now I have two levels of stereotypes I have to make sure that I have to be aware of. Yes. You know, you, you don't want to fall prey to a lot of gay stereotypes, That's as well as problem. Asian stereotypes. Right, but you're good at overcoming stereotypes, so right. you should right. probably have no problem with that well, either. Well, I think we have great writers on yeah. Stargate Universe. Yeah. They really go for the characters, they really go for the drama, and that's what attracted me to the show. Mm -hmm.